Are you trying to figure out how to use AI to help you create YouTube video descriptions for your videos? If that's the case, you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I use one of my favorite AI tools to help me create my YouTube video descriptions for literally all of my videos. And I don't know why creating YouTube YouTube video descriptions is like super annoying to me, but it makes me all the more grateful that there is a tool out there that makes this process a lot easier easier. And so I will say that I do use the paid version of Write Blogger, which is the tool that I'm going to be kind of walking you through in this video. So I do use the paid version, but everything that I'm about to show you, you are going to be able to test and tweak and play around with with a free version. So I will leave a link in the video description box below for you to sign up and create a free account with Write Blogger. But other than that, let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, so when you first log into Write Blogger, your screen is going to look something like this. It might look a little different depending on when you're watching this video. We all know that AI tools and software tools get updates pretty consistently. But essentially how you can get to this is you can click on all tools in the left hand side or you can click tools up here. You should get taken to the screen. But basically where we're going to hang out, you can type in YouTube video description into this box and it will pop up here. Or you can come over here into the left hand side, social tools, scroll down to YouTube video description. Okay. And so how you use this tool can be dependent on like where you are in your video creation process. So you can type in your video topic or your video title if you already have that kind of planned out. Or if your YouTube video is already published, you can just put your YouTube video URL right into this box. And so I use both options depending on like where I am in my video process when I'm using this tool, but I'm just gonna show you the things that I pay attention to. So I'm just gonna put in a video topic or title idea here. And so I'm not gonna include timestamps because I'm not putting a YouTube video URL in here and there is no timestamps when I just have a video topic. But basically tone in writing style, you can go ahead and use the my tone, which is accessible in your account settings and stuff like that. I'm not gonna dive into that in this video, but if you don't have that set up, you can just choose whichever tone you'd like. I usually just do casual. I don't like AI to get like sassy and weird and like more ridiculous sounding than it kind of already is sometimes. So I try to just be like, yo, can you just be casual for this? And then definitely click this little drop down right here because this is like really, really helpful. So if you have extra keywords that you want to include in the video description for keyword optimization for SEO for YouTube, definitely pop the other keywords in here and then and I talk in the first person in all of my videos. So I just make sure that I go ahead and click that option here. If you wanted to give AI even more like context here, you can give target audience examples, and then you can also give additional instructions. I can usually get away with leaving both of these blank, but I will go ahead and put in some keywords. So the keywords that I put in here are just based on my own YouTube SEO keyword research essentially, but I went in and put those there. And then when you feel good about all of that, you can just hit the generate button. So after it generates, it usually doesn't take very long, but basically what you can do is you can read this over and see if you like it. I already know that like this kind of doesn't make sense. Like I would delete explained right here because understand what domain authority explained really means. No, I just want to understand what domain authority really means. And so like it's AI, you're probably going to have to edit some stuff, but if you don't like how it came out, you can always click the edit and run again. And then you can add additional instructions here. You can change your keywords. You can change the tone and writing style. So this is really, really helpful. So I just went in and added this information and then I'm just going to click generate again. So then we have another option 
here that we can play with. And if you're like, mm, I really like that first option better, you can scroll down and see your previous creations down here. And then you can view the other option and you can kind of combine the two or play around with them or do whatever you want. But essentially you can come over here and click copy and then go over to YouTube and you can paste the description and then you can kind of edit as needed here. Okay, so that's one option for kind of using the tool in terms of using a video topic and title, but I'm gonna show you how to use a YouTube video URL too. If you want to keep all of the settings and all of the options that you kind of already inputted in here, then you can just click the edit and run again, and then remove this video topic or title idea and then paste it right in there. And then you'll see the preview of it populate once it kind of like snags it from YouTube. If you're trying to generate like a video description for a different topic or a different video, then you can just click the, let's go back here so you can see it. You can just click the reset form and then it will go ahead and remove everything here. So that's really, really helpful, but I'm going to edit and run again. And then we're just going to delete this, paste the YouTube video URL in there. And then now that we have a YouTube video URL in here, I'm just going to turn this on. I like including timestamps because basically what that does is when you take a look at the video description, it allows the user, like this was generated from WriteBlogger, like all of this was. The only thing that wasn't was these links. I go in and kind of place them manually, but like I make notes of these when I'm recording my YouTube videos so it doesn't take a lot of time. But this is really helpful because they're clickable. And so the user can click on the timestamp to be able to view like that section of the video that they're really wanting to view. So I like including that because I feel like it makes the user experience of them watching your video way more. So we can go ahead and turn those on. I'm gonna keep everything here the same. It keeps getting confused with domain authority explained. So I'm just gonna shorten that keyword and then I'm just gonna click generate. So as you can see, this is already a little bit longer than the other version. And that's because like when you put in a YouTube video URL, WriteBlogger and AI has more context to build your video description off of because because it's using the transcript from your YouTube video. So way more context. And so I usually prefer these options because they're more relevant and accurate than if we were to just use a video topic and title. So that's kind of just like a quick tip there, but I would probably still go back and edit this. Like I don't like saying unlock the secrets of, that sounds really cheesy to me, but I will probably go ahead and edit that once I kind of copy this and paste it into my video description in YouTube. And then so you'll see now we have the timestamps here. I usually delete some of these two, but I'll just copy the whole thing and then I will paste it right into the video description box. And then as you can see, I basically went from all of these timestamps here I kind of chunked them down into the ones that make a little bit more sense for the user. So I don't have timestamps for like the intro or the conclusion or anything like that. I kind of just keep the more broad timestamps that I feel make sense for the user versus like, all of these. I think that this is a little bit too much for how long this video actually is, but it's just really cool that it generates this because like, I don't want to go back in and watch the video and like manually pull out these timestamps. So all in all, using WriteBlogger's video description tool, it literally saves me so much time and so much brain space because after I create a YouTube video, I'm like, for some reason, I'm like, I don't wanna create the description now. And so using AI just makes the process a whole lot easier. And so hopefully this tutorial and these tips that I kind of sprinkled in along the way and like showing you my process, hopefully this inspires you to give right blogger a try. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly the simple thumbs up does go a long way and letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore 
hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any questions about anything, or if you have any ideas for video ideas, or you want me to dive into another AI tool or something like that, definitely leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments, your questions, and your suggestions in order to inspire new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.